Hello and welcome to episode 16 of Let's Play Planet Coaster here on Theme Park Worldwide. It's great that you've all enjoyed this series. I've really enjoyed bringing it to you all. Of course, Summerfield Shore Amusement Park has really developed over the past 16 episodes. And here I am building the final ride in this park. We're going for a nice classic arrow looping coaster uh, with a bit of a custom layout. It's not going to be, uh, it's not going to follow a, a certain standard layout of the ride. However, it is going to feature a few different inversions, uh, a double loop as well on here, and uh, yeah, I look forward to building it, as you're going to see over the next few minutes. But uh, yeah, I did ask for your feedback on what you thought I should build. Uh, a lot of you did say, yeah, you agree, an arrow looping coaster would be a nice fit for a park. Uh, and then, of course, a few of you as well said, actually, we think that you should go for something else, maybe a, a suspended looping coaster or uh, shortly known as SLC. But I did do a little bit of thinking, and I thought, you know what, as much as we've got a Schwarzkopf looping coaster in the park I'm gonna go with the arrow looper because it just felt like it'd work uh, in this park and uh, now firstly I just want to apologize about my voice it is starting to go a little bit I've just been at Alton Towers again today for a fourth day in a row uh, I tell you what I really enjoyed the opening weekend and if you've not seen our main vlog from the opening Saturday here on the channel then make sure you check it out uh, we also filmed a review from the Alton Towers dungeon an off-ride video from the new Peter Rabbit ride in CBeebies land and also uh, most recently yesterday in fact I put on a merchandise and shops video uh, requested by you guys you all said oh you'd love to see uh, me go around the different shops and share with you the 2019 merchandise so well yeah a lot of you wanted to see that so I thought let's go straight in and film it and uh, today I've been uh, just up there with a few friends that I don't get to see very often and uh, yeah it's had a really nice day getting on some more rides really impressed with Alton Towers this season and uh, I'll share more of that later on but uh, yeah that's why my voice is a little bit croaky today because uh, I've just been speaking up there for four days in a row now and of course tomorrow I'm at Drayton Manor for the opening so uh, yeah it's great to be back in with the start of the season and of course uploading regular vlogs here on Theme Park Worldwide. Uh, but here we go I'll try my best with my voice uh, as you can see we go down that nice first drop to the left into that double loop uh, then make our way round bank to the right uh, around into a corkscrew uh, that'll be the final inversion on this ride it's then going to uh, back round to the left and you can see that's where we're uh, up to now with this coaster. Of course, uh, we wanted this to be a little bit different uh, to what we've done with the Schwarzkopf looping coaster. Uh, so it's about putting in a few uh, different elements. Like I say, we've got the loop on there, uh, but I wanted to make sure that we had a corkscrew on here as well. Uh, more moments of airtime. And uh, yeah, this ride's actually going to be based over a lake. And you'll see in a few minutes' time, I uh, add that in using the uh, terrain tool. But uh, yeah, really pleased with this ride. I know it is in a way similar to that of the Schwarzkopf looping coaster, um, but this is a much more bigger ride in a bigger area you know and I think it just works really well I don't think we could have built a, a vintage part like this without having an old school style arrow coaster uh, you know of course Vekoma uh, did this sort of style ride as well and uh, yeah you know it's just a nice attraction to add into the uh, amusement park as you can see there I did look at another corkscrew uh, but it was way too slow through that I thought maybe I could dig it down a little bit but I thought no actually let's just keep it with the one corkscrew uh, you see now how it crawls over and uh, yeah I decide to uh, get rid of that put in another airtime hill before taking it round, bank to the left and uh, into the brakes. But uh, yeah, I know it's not all the ride what all of you wanted to see this one, but uh, yeah, you know, I just thought it, it just works in the park for me. A lot of the amusement parks that I've done have got a traditional style arrow coaster and I thought it would just work really nice with the park and I'm pleased with how it's fit in. As you can see there, I just changed the colour scheme to blue and it's going to be over water. Uh, there's no particular heavy theme for this ride at all, uh, but I would love for you to get your name suggestions in and of course the next episode which will be episode 17 is going to be the final episode in this series i know a lot of you are very sad that summerfield chores coming to an end and i am too but uh, yeah we're lucky because i've decided to do another episode which was this one uh, this was going to be the final episode but uh, like i said back when i was building the wooden coaster i felt like i needed to do another ride into the right hand side of this park uh, and no regrets i'm glad that i have done so let's take a ride on it you've just seen we've climbed up the lift there as we get some great views over the amusement park and bank down to the left and then down we go of course into that drop up into the first loop and no messing about straight into the second loop nice classic arrow moments 
And there we go, banking round to the right. Nice bit of an overbank there. There's going to be some shops under there shortly and restaurants. A bit of air time. Make our way round into a helix to the right. And back over that track. Bit of a straight section and down into the corkscrew. Takes that at quite a nice speed actually, quite fast. Before we bank to the left. I didn't spend too long in terms of uh, getting the transitions on this to be perfect because it's an old and arrow ride. We don't want it to be too smooth. Bit of air time and then bank round to the left into the brake run. But yeah, overall really pleased with that. You'll see now I start to put in uh, all the paths around the ride, the queue line, the exit path. And of course, we'll uh, do the station building a little bit later on as well. Um, but yeah, in general, really pleased with how it's come together. And uh, yeah, of course, get your names coming in. I'll reveal the name that I've chosen in the next episode, the final episode in the series, which will be number 17. And then, of course, I'm moving on to this indoor part that I've spoke about for a while. Uh, but you still don't really know many details. I've kept it quite, you know, I'm not giving much away. Uh, but there is some great coaches in there a few different rides to what you've seen me build before on the game as well there's a few repeat rides but a few new ones and uh, yeah then of course I'm moving on to a very modern park the World's Fair Park is going to feature some big B&M coasters I want to put like a B&M hyper coaster and stuff in this park I know a lot of you said an arrow hyper might have worked in this park as well but I didn't want to do anything too big here I didn't want to you know ruin the skyline of course when I go and build this more modern World's Fair Park uh, an ultra modern it'd be like we're building it in 2019 you know with the rides that i'm putting in mac launch coaster uh will be going in a lot of different rides like that themed to different countries around the world i think it'll work really well actually and uh, i'm really looking forward to building it but of course if you've got any early suggestions get them coming in i know we've got the shopping mall for, uh, park first um but yeah you know get your suggestions coming in for that one i would uh, love to see them you can see here in terms of the terrain, it's putting in all the different hills underneath just there as well. Of course, we've got the park boundary, make sure I don't go over that too much just there. Um, but yeah, I wanted this to kind of fit with the terrain quite nicely. Of course, we're going that the lake would have been there before and the coaster uh, would have been added afterwards around it. And I'll give you another POV at the end of the video, why not? Uh, of course, when all the theming's uh, put in, all the landscaping uh, around the ride. I keep saying theming, but it is landscaping. We're not putting any grand theming structures or anything around this um, you know it is a very old ride one of the older rides this will be at the park I'd say this was built before the Schwarzkopf looping coaster this would have probably been built in the late 70s early 80s um, so yeah you know there wasn't really much theming around with this all these rocks and stuff are natural uh, all the way around the uh, water's edge just there and uh, we'll put a few fountains in as well you know some uh, waterfalls just to make it look a bit pretty around here and yeah it's a nice traditional style amusement park ride uh, to end the series but uh, yeah anyway i'll leave you a little bit of planet coaster music over the next few minutes and i'll uh, come back to you shortly and talk more about what i'm getting up to in the game
So the thing that I'm really pleased about with this park is just how beautiful it looks in terms of, yes, it's an amusement park, uh, but it's got some really nice areas with just planting, shrubbery, uh, various different trees and flower beds. And that's the thing that I just wanted to make sure that 100% uh, got right with this park. And at first I thought, you know, it's going to be quite hard to get it right. But as soon as I've done a couple of areas and a few of the different rides, I thought, yeah, it's coming together really nice. And I'm really pleased with that. That's the one thing that I'm, I'm you know, 100% uh, with, with this park. You know, I'm really pleased that I've done that. Of course, I'm pleased with the, the other things as well. But of course, the whole making it look really pretty has worked really well, exactly how I wanted it to be. Uh, in terms of, you know, a lot like Blackpool Pleasure Beach has got a lot of rides, but they're all very close to each other. I wanted it to kind of have a lot of rides like that, but also have them spread out quite a bit as well. A bit like uh, Liseberg in Sweden, uh, wanting them spread out like that, but with lots of gardens and things like uh, around as well, you know, and, and I think it works really well. Of course, you've just seen I've been working on the uh, station building and the queue line area to this arrow looping coaster, uh, yet to be named, but like I say, I'll reveal that in the next episode. So get those names coming in in the comments down below. As always, I always read all the different comments and all of my different videos, and of course, I'll give you a love heart or reply to your comments, and uh, yeah, it's great to see what you guys come up with in terms of name suggestions. In a moment, I'll come back to adding the different windows and things onto the station. Quite a simple station building. I'm not going too detailed on this. Uh, I am looking forward to getting back to building some heavily themed attractions, though. Uh, now I've got, you know, to the end of this series, I'm thinking, you know, I'm ready to start going nicely detailed again because I've not really done anything in this park that's heavily themed. And I know some of you might argue that and say, oh, the Chinese area or your Wild West area. But for me, that's still very lightly themed compared to some of the stuff you saw in the studios park and also especially with my first ever park volcano springs uh, that's what my next major part is going to be comparable to scale wise we're going volcano springs style a big park family uh, theme park different themed areas some big rides and yeah i, I want to do volcano springs um but you know maybe a little bit smaller than that but with more rides in there a better designed layout and uh, yeah i'm really looking forward to putting that together the entrance area I'll Look back on it and wish I'd done something very different. I loved the hotel uh, that I built and if you're wondering what the hell I'm talking about then check out that uh, series of course it's way back in the playlist the first one that I did uh, and of course you can find them also by searching here on the channel in that search tab but uh, yeah you know I'm really pleased with uh, how it, it came out but I do wish that you know I've made a lot of improvements since then to things you know there's more that I would definitely have uh, done with that. Uh, as you can see here, just added in some uh, blue windows and you've got the uh, lighting on there as well, that typical amusement park uh, style uh, lighting going on just there. Uh, as you can see, not just putting it all around the top, putting it around the uh, windows and stuff as well, around the doors. Really want this to be lit up nicely and you'll see shortly I add lots of pink lighting underneath this coaster to sort of give it a nice vibrant feel. You know, that's exactly what I wanted uh, with this ride. Nice and vibrant, very bright and you walk into the area from the Chinese area. Of course, there's only the one path that leads into this part as well. Um, it's only this area and of course what I built in the last couple of episodes at the other side with the dueling wooden coasters and the uh, little family area um, you know they're, they're the only two areas that have only got one path leading into them the rest of it has got numerous paths and access points um, you know so that's quite interesting in terms of access it's nice and easy to get around this park um, and yeah like I said I'm really pleased with that I'm sad that it's coming to an end but I'm more than ready now to move on and get back into what I'm more used to and that's heavy theming you know like this park has been more about the focus on getting the rides right whereas for me you know theming's a big part of it but I plan on taking all the heavy theme in what I've done in previous parks and a little bit in this park uh, but most importantly my ride experience and building coasters from this park and putting it all together to build the ultimate Planet Coaster World's Fair Park. I mean, that's my goal for this one. And I plan on coming back to this and maybe adding a fireworks showing at some point that I'll just do as a random one-off video. But uh, yeah, because I've not done a firework display for a while. I think I've only actually shared one full one on the channel from Volcano Springs. And of course, uh, I did a little one when I opened the Studios Park and I'll probably do a little small one uh, for the video when we open this actually, just to say, you know, send off the series with a bang, so to speak. But uh, yeah, just a couple of minutes left to go in this episode and uh, yeah it's just about adding that lighting in now all around uh, the ride just here as well 
in terms of the name for this, like I say, it can be something quite simple. I don't, I'm not talking like just looping coaster or something. Um, but you know, not nothing too much because, like I say, there's no theme to this at all. It's just a generic looping coaster in this amusement park. And uh, as you'll see when I'm putting in the queue line in just a moment with all the theme in around it, it's more just about flower beds and just making it look uh, really nice and pretty. But yeah, overall, I'd like to know your thoughts on this park. Uh, what have you enjoyed the most about it? What's your favourite ride in the park? What would you have added if it was your park? And of course, a lot of people always ask me, uh, do I upload my parks on the Steam Workshop? Uh, yes, I do. You can find Volcano Springs and Ocean Bay Studios. Uh, they are both available to download. And this will be shortly. Summerfield Shore Amusement Park uh, will be available to download shortly uh, after uh, episode 17, that final episode. Uh, I never put them up for download whilst I'm still working on them because uh, of course I want to make sure that I finish the series off how I want the park to be uh, but of course you then get your chance to make changes, remove rides, add rides, do whatever you want to it, you know just explore it, play it, run it, uh, whatever you want to do and of course you can do that and download it but uh, yeah this should be on you know just shortly after uh, the final episode in the series and I know a lot of you love Planet Coaster, you're all thinking how long am I going to have to wait until the next series, it won't be long at all probably about a week or so and we'll kick off with the new series uh, a week after the last episode that'll be of course uh, with the four part shopping miles series that I look forward to sharing very different and uh, yeah something different to a lot of other planet coaster creators I've wanted to go for here as well but uh, here we go then let's go for a ride on this attraction of course the American Arrow uh, still says down on the front I'd rather not have on that on there but of course can't really change it nothing I can do about that other than changing the colour scheme but uh, oh we go on the lift hill you saw a POV earlier on but this of course with all the theming around it and we are see how much of a difference it makes just adding all that scenery in and we are heading down that first drop already looks so much better doesn't it when you've got all the trees in around it lots of pink bushes and stuff around as well into the loop and around into loop number two oh, you can just view of the toilet block there from the loop love it oh that's really nice with the head chopper there caused by the trees over the water yeah lovely really nice picturesque ride to get photos of making our way around bit of air time and into the court screw again some nice head choppers by the trees a few rocks and stuff around a bit of terrain work quite a good bit of air time there isn't it before turning to the left and yeah again and then round into the brain run. Yeah, really pleased with that. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in episode 17, the final episode. And that means it's time to cue those credits.